Hi everyone, it's me. Um, so I'm making a quick video here because uh, I did something that uh, is really easy to do um, if you have trouble making Zoo Tycoon work on your computer. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I personally have the Zoo Tycoon disc set of the complete collection. I have yet to try to install the second disc, but if you only have um, the first disc, so Zoo Tycoon itself, um, I had a problem where the game would, um, every time you opened it, it would go to a black screen really quick, flash, and then go away. Uh, and it wouldn't even load anything, wouldn't play the music, didn't get you to the, to the main menu or anything. Nothing like that happened. So uh, I can recreate that uh, by going into the INI files. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, but this is a really easy fix. Uh, I'll show you everything that I've done to Zoo Tycoon. And we'll see if it works for you. If it does, I hope it does. Oh, okay. Well, now that just works. Neat. All right. So that's a thing. <laughs> so what I did was... Um, I set my Zoo Tycoon's uh, compatibility, mo compatibility mode. This is on a Windows 7 computer, mind you. Um, I set it to uh, Windows XP Service Pack 3. I also have this running as an administrator on my computer. So every time it asks for permission to run. Um, secondly, because after I did that, nothing would work. So secondly, I went into... Um, if you go to your computer, right, and then you right click, go to properties, and then you go to, not properties on that, oh, not on the hard drive, you go to actual computer properties on that, and then you hit advanced system settings, right, you go to performance, and then data execution prevention. Now in this, uh, I have added, uh, by going to turn on DEP for all programs and services, except those I select, I have put Zoo Tycoon in there. I don't know if this is necessary, but this is what I did. And then, uh, at the very end, since that didn't work either before, I went into the INI file, which can be found in the Microsoft Games folder uh, in your program files times 86. So you go into Microsoft Games, you go into Zoo Tycoon, you scroll down, and you find Zoo, and it's like a notepad thing with the... It's an INI file. You open that up. You go into the notepad, and you'll see... You scroll down until you find... Where is it? Do oh, I scrolled past it, sorry. You scroll down until you find User. At User, I made it not full screen, by putting zero, because it's either one or zero, not two, one or zero, because uh, for full screen it's either true or false, and one is true and zero is false. And then you can set your screen width and height however you like in the in the options there. Um, and then of course save it, so either Control S or save, and then you can launch the game. Just like that. So I didn't know that. I didn't know any of that until I was browsing a bunch of things and all the information is just scattered. Let me turn this down. Or turn it off. All the information is scattered everywhere. So I tried like every single little thing. I was about to try a command prompt thing. Or I tried a command prompt thing and it didn't even accept the command prompt. So I really hope this helps out. If any of you um, like Zoo Tycoon and... Uh, needed something to help you uh, get it to work on your computer. Um, I don't know if this works for anything above Windows 7 because sadly my um, laptop does not have a CD drive, so I don't know. But if it works for you, I, I, I'm I glad. If it doesn't work for you, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.